morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. It's a pleasure again to be with you today on this the Lord's Day and to uh, see your smiling faces and the warm welcomes that I always receive when I come. Let us pray. Eternal Father, we pray, God, that you will be among us on this day. As we come together, Lord, and gather in your house. If there are minds of God that even now are distraught, let them be calm. If hearts hurt, let them be healed. And oh God, please, if there are souls that are stained, oh God, we pray that they will be cleansed. And when we have heard and received the good news of your love for us, your unconditional love, don't let it be our shame, O oh God, that we would keep it only for ourselves. Help us, O oh God, to be faithful disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ and share with others the good news as others have shared it with us. We thank you for the privilege, just the privilege of oh God, to come into the house of prayer and see smiling faces, neighbors, oh God, loved ones. We thank you for that, and we don't take it lightly. And we say, oh God, that you are welcome in this place and in our hearts. We pray this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. If you please stand, we'll sing Jesus is all in the world for you.
God's goodness. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfieth the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. And let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them exalt him also in the congregation of the people and praise him in the assembly of the elders. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever.